Hi, my name is David Cobblestone, and I created the game Watts. And I put this. I thought I'd do this video so that I could explain how the game works. You have the the list of rules. I thought I'd help you out with that. Sometimes it can be difficult reading the rules for the first time. Let me bring the camera in a little closer so we can see the board. So you look, set up the board and you'll have these uh, placekeeping, piece, placekeeping pieces, you put them on the numbers and each, you see these boxes, each of you have a box, this will be my box. You'll choose the numbers that you think are going to be rolled by the dice and if the, if the number that you uh, have chosen is rolled by the dice then you'll move that number of space that's in the bottom of that square. That will tell you the number of spaces to move, this one, the six is, no, is one space. If you roll a 12, it's six bases. And each uh, of the spaces here has a, has a dollar amount, which you will collect each time it rolls. So let's just start. Um, I'll just make some of these choices on a couple of them. Let's see. Let's see. And I'll, I'll play this player as well. And let's roll. All right, five is rolled. Let's see. Three, five. Nobody has a five, so nobody would move. <laughs> let's see now. Let's see. I'll have this fellow take the top ones. That way, one of us would be rolling, moving. All right. And it's an eight. An eight. I have an eight, so I am the umbrellas here. I move one space. One space, and I would collect one thousand dollars. When you play this game, someone has to be designated the banker. Someone has to take the responsibilities of being the banker, and has to pay out all the cash as the, as we're playing. And um, let's see, a seven. I roll. I have a seven. I'm going to get a lot of the wins because I took the bottom row here. It has a lot of uh, probabilities that that are going to come up, and often. And uh, collect another another thousand dollars. The idea is to roll around the board as quickly as you can, and, and while you're doing so, collect as much cash as possible. There are three different games that you can play. There's lots, house lots, and um, and lots, stocks and taxes. Each one is a little more complex, and uh, but basically the, the the idea is to race to the center. First person in wins the game. And along the way, you collect as much cash as possible, which you can use later on in lot stocks and taxes as investments. So you'll be, you'll each, and you can move each time. You, each time the dice are rolled afterwards, a twelve. Nobody had a twelve, but a too bad. A twelve it gives you six moves. In one, let's say that person I wanted to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and collect a thousand dollars. As you get closer to the center, the amount of, of uh, money that you collect is more and um, so that you can invest that later on. So that's, that's uh, lots, is a race to the center and collect as much as you can and the first person into the center will win. And let's see, lots, house lots is a little bit different. You play against a housekeeping chip, which also goes in the start box along with the rest of you. And if you all roll along each time the same way as you do in house, but there's this house player will move one place each time the dice are rolled. So he steadily moves closer to the center. And your objective is to, for all the players, they are playing this fellow, this one fellow. He is moving one place at a time. They are all moving as best they can with their choices. And the first in wins. And uh, what you'll do at the end is you'll subtract the number of spaces that the house moved in. Let's say the house won and you are a player and you are back here, you would subtract these number, this amount of money and uh, you would be paid that 150000 less that amount of money because there are $150,000 total in your, all your moves uh, to the center. So, and uh, lots of stocks and taxes. Once again, you'll be rolling as usual and everyone choosing their spaces and changing them each roll. You can, after every roll, you can change your space. 
you have the choices that you've made. And uh, there's an addition. While you're playing house, while you're playing lots, you have these circle cards and investment cards. In lots, you have just the circle cards. But this is a little addition. You could, uh, one person at a time would get this card and uh, he could choose one of these circles, either one of these, any one of these circles, which gives you an opportunity to win more often because uh, you would get the numbers two, three, four, five, and six in this one. If the dice are rolled, two, three, two, three, four, five, or six come up, you would win here. And if you had, as a bonus, if you had one on four and four was rolled, you would win once here, once here. You would move two spaces and collect whatever is in the, written in the box. Now, each person would, this card goes around the, around the, around the uh, table. The circle card, if you have this, you can use, you can choose one or you don't have to, but, uh, and if you choose to use it, you use it and you pass it to the next player and they can use one of the other unoccupied circles. And once they're all filled, that's the end of the circles card. And in the house lots and, in the house lots and taxes, if you also have these uh, investment cards, the investment cards give you another turn uh, as you go. Each player would get an opportunity to choose one of these cards, any one, and let's say take a high risk card. Then you, each player would take his turn. And I have an investment card, investment roll, and I would try that. And I would roll that in 10. A 10, I would win 10, 000, I would win $2,000. And then the next question would, would you like to take the investment roll? Yes. And the, each player gets an opportunity until we've gone around, and that's the end of investment play. All right, so it's a great game. It's dice. You're a race to the center. Collect as much cash as you can. Go. All right.